Hi, this is Ushio, and welcome back to Sable. In the last part, yeah, we left home, and we're totally on our own now. And we travelled to a place that our friends recommended we visit. So, what's the name of this place? I don't know, I can't remember. It just said on the screen and I've forgotten already. That kid's ignoring me. But there's someone here who is a, a friend, hopefully. It's the person's... Basically, there's someone who helped us build our bike. And their friend is in this town, and they recommended we go visit and say hello. And it's going to be interesting to see what kinds of people we find in this place. Hello? The mechanist looks me over. You're late. Um, for what? For our meeting, one another. You ought to have come here sooner. I asked the mechanist how they know me. I don't know you. Not yet. Perplexed, I wait for them to explain themselves, but they seem to wait for the same. Briefly, I feel a hint of shame, as I remember times I've been late among the Ibexi, things I have slipped up in doing. But I dismiss my doubts as I recall that I have no idea who this strange mechanist is. I ask him. Uh, okay, so this is Utari. Of immediate relevance to you is that I'm a friend of Saizo. I asked then if Saizo alerted them to my impending arrival. Perhaps she looks out for me and sets waypoints and oases along my gliding. It's a comforting thought. No, no, no. It was your hover bike. I heard it for the first time months ago, and felt the shape of its voice, of her voice. Sorry. I told Atari that it was not Simoon they heard. For Saizo and I only built her a few days hence. They waved their hands at me in a hurried dismissal. This Saizu teach you so little. The voices of our machines are eternal, more ancient even than their forms. I hear them, as I always have, and yours, I thought, would revisit me sooner. But mm, here we are. Now, let us speak of why you've come. Annie's converge atop the wind tower. Okay, tell me more. Something has stopped the tower working. I was hours away from going to see it for myself, but you and Simoon came after all. And go there, mend what's broken, or soothe what's hurt, and I will give you what you seek. I ask Utari if they know what I seek, but I admit that I might not. It's a direction. I'll be waiting for you. Travel swiftly and safely. I say goodbye. Okay, so we gotta, we gotta go somewhere. We gotta fix the turbine. But we did just arrive in this town. Maybe there's other people that we can talk to. Hello, who's whose house is this? Hello. The mask caster sits unmoving and silent. I can't tell if the mask caster is human or something else. I've heard about mask casters in stories about glidings before. Guiders should collect three badges of a set and bring them to the caster, for whom the mask shall be cast. I should look for more badges, and I leave. Okay, so I've got like this kind of horned, spooky looking mask at the minute. But yeah, if I learn more skills and crafts and make more friends, then yeah, I can get different masks. Who is this? This guy's in armour. The guard before me stands tall. Her posture shaped by a duty, uniform weathered by years. Hey there, young glider. I'm only startled by the force of her greeting, but her voice is comforting somehow, warm and welcoming. I greet her with the accidental enthusiasm of a traveller finding a friend. She smiles behind the mask, I think. Always nice to meet a fellow adventurer, especially now. How are you faring? Uh, the world is big and I feel very small. You say that like it's a bad thing. Isn't it a wonder, the size of it all? you can spend your whole life wandering and still find more to see. I think about the balled up fabric and smooth that rock that will make my next pillow and many to come. My neck aches faintly at the thought of how many nights I'll spend this way. It's possible that I'm romanticizing a little. You see, I'm getting ready to leave on my second gliding. She reads a confusion in my silence. Did no one tell me of the second one? I suppose it isn't a real second gliding, but it's how I'm thinking about it. A chance to see the world again, and how it's changed. I'm an Ekrian guard, you see, or I was an Ekrian guard. As of three days ago, I'm officially retired. You should have seen the way that others looked at me. There's a laugh in her voice. All of them were so baffled to see me go, telling me how much I'd missed the big city. A few of them even felt sorry for me. Like, what would I do, now that my life's purpose is complete? Can you imagine? I try to, but I can barely muster a view of my purpose's start, let alone its end so I shake my head. 
I said thank you for all the strange condolences, but tomorrow marks the first time in decades that I'll wake up in the morning and have absolutely no idea what lies ahead, and I've never been more excited. Don't get me wrong, I love my work. I even love the noise and the trouble of a career, but I spent enough of my life standing around looking hard. It's time to explore. Her glee is infectious. I ask her where she'd like to go. I'm headed to the Badlands, I think. I want to see the Bridge of the Betrayed. If you haven't already, you should definitely go and see it for yourself. You want the Northern Badlands southwest of here. I nod, trying to keep the directions in mind, and Elizabeth gives me a little tap. Maybe I'll see you there. Okay, another quest. We can go and meet a friend somewhere else. Oh, look at all these beds. People? People hanging out here. Okay. This guy's just chilling out. Any any boxes? Any treasure? I mean, I don't want to rob these people, but I wouldn't mind a bit more money. What's up here? I, I'm just exploring. Hang on. There, there's a dude in the centre here. Are they riding like a beetle? Hello. Glider, welcome. Come view my wares. It's Bobby. Okay, tell me about the camp. This is one of many beetle tent stations around Midden, named after that big old burnt tree over there. I'm not sure what species an oak is, mind. There's plenty of characters passing through here. They're all worth a bother if you're on your gliding. Never know what badges and masks you might pick up. Don't be shy. Chat to the tent owners, interrogate the machinists and any other people you see around. There's also the scrapper's yard just below the big crane over there. There's a lazy scrapper down there who'll make finding scraps worth your time. See you soon. Okay. What's he got? Okay, smashing! Have a gander at muggers. Okay, what's what's for sale? Beetle bite wings. Okay, if I want to kit out my, my bike, I can buy those. Till next time. See you soon. Anything else to talk about? Okay. Where can I get a merchant's badge? Merchants aren't liable to just give out badges freely. Your best bet there is to head to a Kriya. There's a big market in town over there. Worth trying to Iria's attention if you want to get yourself some merchant's badges. Be careful how you do it, mind. She's not the friendliest customer. See you soon. Okay, and... Tell me about your beetle. He's a big boy, Fred. Don't let his size fool you, though. He's a soppy fella. Loves a snuggle. Won't help you much if a worm attacks, but he can pull anything through a sand drift without any struggle. Okay. And... Any, any mail for me? Hey, unread messages? Zero. But this is a interesting place. Hang on, I'm seeing something. Can I take this? Narrow stalk fig. Undoubtedly my favourite fruit. The first thing I would ask for when we pass travelling merchants with the Abexi. Okay, some items. Hello. Who's this? Wormat Glider. Oh, we had goats in my clan. Oh, so you're familiar with their temperament. I suppose you're Abexi. Say hello to Uma and JD for me. Well met. Okay, what's in the glass vial? Oh, I made this. It's the colour palette for a hover bike, inspired by my work as a herder. Here, take some. I insist. I'd be very proud to see you riding a bike with my colours, Sable. Nice. What's up with the statue? Oh, you might recognise her. Oh, Anna. She was a great herder of many creatures. They say she came from the whale and herded the ancestors of the creatures we heard today. We teach that keeping your herd near her statues will keep them together, well fed and healthy. Cool. See you later. Oh, what, this statue? It's kind of big. Cool, nice stuff. So, hang on, where's where's my map? Where's my map? So, I've got a couple of headings. Oh, that looks like something. That looks like... That looks like something as well. These all look like things. Hang on. There's the hot air balloon. That looks like... Is that a city or something? It's, it's hard to tell. But I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a town of some sort. There's something there as well. I've never really looked at the map that much. Here's a huge thing that I totally ignored when I left the valley. Because this is where I started. And I've basically gone this way. Uh... Hmm. So is that is that it? Is that everything I should take? How do I how do I change my equipments? How do I do that? Okay, so what have I got? Hmm. I could change the colour. 
Can I can I do that? How do I do that? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let's, where should we go? Do we want to go to the Bridge of the Betrayed? Or I could go to this... Is this the tree that I'm supposed to check out? I don't think it's this tree. Hang on. Let me check the map again. No, it's this... Hang on. I'm not used to these things yet. Uh, the wind tower. The gliding. More masks. Scrap metal. So these two are side missions. If I want to get more masks and scrap metal, that's that's all good things. I could go to the bridge. Is it, should we go to the bridge? I don't get the impression that it's close. And I don't think it's the main thing I should be doing. Whoa. But it is sort of something to do. Oh, wow, I'm crashing in all sorts. I don't even know how far this is, but the Badlands sounds like probably the not the most advisable place that I should be checking out. Anything here? I, I'm just getting distracted by things that aren't aren't things. There were some ribs there. Okay, so where where are we? Okay, maybe I should check out this. This has really caught my attention. I probably shouldn't go there. Uh, I need to kind of go there anyway. Maybe that is it. Maybe that is it. So yeah, we got we got an invitation. She's kind of like a, a guard or a warrior or something. It would be a, a nice... I don't know. Maybe a nice mask that you can collect for that. But that seems to be what this game is about. We're, we're on a journey. We're on our gliding. And we're trying to figure out what what's our purpose. What do we want to do with our life? And so we just get sent out into the world. Meet people. And see what people do with their lives. What do they enjoy? What is it they want to do? And from that, if I do well, they'll give me badges. And with the badges, I can get a new mask. Okay, so... that That's home, isn't it? That's, that's where I come from. So we're not going there. We're going to go past that entrance. So in some respects... I'm, I'm going back into the references. We've discussed briefly uh, Mobius st art stylings. There's also a bit of a, a content reference to like uh, Nazca of the Valley of the Wind. Is this the thing? Wait. I've gone past it. The Bridge of the Betrayed? Hang on. Wait. So what was over here? What is this though? This There's a campsite here. So I'm going to go here as well. I'm getting really distracted. So yeah, Nazca of the Valley of the Wind is also a reference. But there's also, I would say, maybe even Kiki's Delivery Service you might not think it, but it's about... If you haven't seen it, I'm sure you're familiar with it if you have, obviously, but... If you haven't seen it, it's about a, a girl who comes from a, a family of witches. And when you hit a certain age, you leave you leave home. And you go and find what it is you want to do. So, while well, you are basically told that you have to be a witch, outside of that, you can kind of do whatever it is you want. So, yeah, title of the film, she wants to do a delivery service. Can, can I get up there? I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, but her, her mother is like a... She makes potions and stuff. All, all that kind of thing. But it, the whole film is basically... It's not really about the witchcraft or anything like that. It's more about a journey of, of self-discovery. What, what do you want to do? You know, you want to go out into the world, le learn something about yourself, and from that, you kind of decide on your life's direction. So she has like a big crisis of faith. There's some crows here. Hello. Okay. Yeah, she has a big crisis of faith. She loses all her abilities. Complete loss of direction. And she just kind of has to rebuild her confidence from the start and decide what it is she wants to do with herself. It's, it's a nice film. I, I do recommend it. It's one of the better Studio Ghibli films. They're all pretty good. But Kiki, I would say, is at the top half for sure. Oh. Shouldn't have pressed the button. Okay. Climb it. So, yeah. I've been given all these missions and I've ignored all of them. And we've gone here instead. Because I saw the fire smoke. So if there's a campsite, doesn't it mean there's someone here? Maybe. There's a statue. 
I don't get the impression this is the kind of game that you can do in the wrong order. A lot of this stuff is sort of optional. Okay. Can I get across? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come on. Oh, yeah. Made it. I've got no idea what I'm doing up here. Okay, is there more smoke up there? Everything okay? Oh no, that's the, that's the same thing. What am I doing? This is really weird. There's a lot of the time, like the people are really friendly. The game is a, a lot less serious than what I thought it might be. I thought it might be a quite isolating. And you're just kind of abandoned in desolate wasteland. And while you are, when you do meet people, meeting people is a cause of celebration in this game. Like, you, people are really open, they're really friendly. And they're, they're happy to help. Win the wind tower? Wait, was this, was this where I was supposed to be? Maybe this is where I'm supposed to have gone. Oops. It's fine. I found it because I'm an adventurer. And I found it without using the compass. Because I was trying to go to the other place. Okay, a pod. Can I... No? Is this... I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, hello? Is there anyone around? Oh, up there. If there's vines, it's, it's a sign that you can climb. I'll take that visual cue to, to do something. Hello? There's a ladder over there. Do I want the ladder? I heard something. I don't know what I heard. Almost like... I don't know, like a whale? Oh god! Hang on. Hang on. Re recharge your grip. And then, here is good. Is there anyone up here? Am I alone? What am I trying to do? Let's just keep climbing. See how high we can get. Okay, I've reached the top. And it's whatever this thing is. Is it over there? Up there? Hang on. Am I supposed to be at the wind tower? Where are my missions? Uh, tell, you, tell me about the wind... Maybe I should equip that after all. Because I think that this is where I am. Hang on, go back to the map. I am at the wind tower. This is precisely where he wanted me to go. Oh well. Um, okay. Mm. Didn't think I'd make it, but that's good. Someone built this thing. You'd think there'd be one or two people kind of helping it run, keep an eye on it, but then something has gone wrong, so maybe we can fix it. It's windy up here. These bushes are holding on. Okay, what's this? A rock? Oh! That's it. We got it to go. Completely by accident. We, we fixed it. <laughs> so that was cool. Ooh treasure. Hang on. D don't want that rock no more. G get rid of it. That's it. Go buy a rock. Hey crows. Uh, I lost my bearing slightly. So that treasure chest, where was it? Was it here? Oh, this is a different one. That's a bit of money. But solving that did open up a special room. We did go past it on the way. Nice. And I got a, a, an extra treasure chest for my troubles. A machinist top. A standard uniform worn by machinists in Midden. Machinists will always make sure each set has its own unique modifications for their own particular needs. Do I want that? I quite like my cape. I won't lie. I do quite like my cape. But we did it. We will need to go back and and tell them that it's a job well done. Wait, how, how do I get out now? I'll, I'll keep landing in dead ends. That's, that's no good. 
But I need to get out. Maybe we'll meet with that other person on the way, because it's kind of where we were. Hang on. This way? Okay, so where's... Where's my glider? It's somewhere, isn't it? I've got the summoning whistle, but... Am I too far? Ow! Okay, so there's no, no full damage because I've got my special power. Which is kind of cool. There you are. Let's go. But the other thing is, is... I should go back to Atari at camp. Or, I could go and find Elizabeth at the Bridge of the Betrayed. We'll do that. Which I think... Am I gonna go back home? I only left in the last episode. It's a bit too soon to be returning home. Or revisiting the scene of the crime kind of thing. <laughs> but it's what I've decided to do. We got given a couple of missions. Might as well do both. Ah, was that tumbleweed? Okay, cool. I did get asked to find like scrap metal. I haven't seen any, despite there being a lot of, you know, abandoned stuff. I haven't actually seen any. So, are we going inside here? The Bridge of the Betrayed? Hmm. It's the southwest of Burnt Oak Station in the Northern Badlands. But I'm, I'm pretty sure it's on top of those statues. Maybe there is something I can do. I, I don't, I really don't know. But it's, it's a free roaming adventure. I can always come back. And maybe I'll get like a, a better jump later on. Or maybe I just need to find the right sweet spot to kind of get me up there. But for the, for the minute, I, I think we're good. Okay, I'm going to go in this direction. Look, I can see the hot air balloon in the distance. So that's the direction I need to be going. Alright, smooth on over. I need to work out how I can decorate my ship as well. I don't know if I, I need to find like a, a garage or something. Or if I can just do it at any point. Okay. Hop. Big jump. So what I am doing is... Where's my quests at? Heading back to Atari at the camp. There we go. That's good. Wait, was there something over there on the horizon? What is that floating thing in the distance? Oh, damn. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check. So, we'll, we'll go visit Itali, and then we'll go over there, because that's, that's something. It looks a bit sinister, I can't lie. Whoa. But it's a mysterious world. So far, we haven't seen or met anything that's a problem. There's like a giant tree over there as well. But the, yeah, the placing's quite good. You can just see one thing on the, the horizon and that can be something to check out. So yeah, don't, don't lose track of that. I want to check that. I haven't found any scrap, so it would be nice if I could get more money. Because if I meet more cartographers, it would be good if I could buy their maps. And I want to buy equipment and I want to buy costumes and I, I just want to spend a lot of money. Okay, c coming into town now. This is good. Is that a shooting star? Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, whoa, whoa, whoa. And parking. Okay, I've done my job and I did it well. Also, I did it accidentally. Itali greets me warmly. Am I a help? Itali's delight is obvious and I see it even in my approach. They radiate with energy. You did it. Thanks. Well done. Both of you. Did you have much trouble? Uh, no, it was fine. Of course not. Why would you? You were meant to do it. Now for your... I won't say reward. Now for what you're owed. Itali produces a machinist badge, holding it out for me to take. You may have been late in coming, but here you are, where you're meant to be. I'll give you this badge not only in recognition of where you've been and what you've done, but in honour of one of many possibilities. That you may, if you so choose, become one of us, who speak the unheard language of the moon and her vast connections. This badge is but one, 
but you will need to earn more from others who carry them. But if and when you do, the caster will know what you've chosen, and you may wear the Mask of the Machinist. I thank Atari for it, and tell them I have much to consider, but for the moment, I hear the faintest ringing in my left ear, distant and deep, like a river below the sands. Listen. Okay, got it. Got it. But over there... There's something really strange over there. And there was also like a giant tree. Or was it just a regular tree? Alright. It's strange. Recently I played on the channel a game called The Pathless. And it's the kind of game where you're supposed to like freely explore. And there's, n there's no dialogue, there's no conversations. You it's just you and the wilderness. But I would get so distracted playing that game... I found like the terrain it's by design because it's covered in like foliage and trees and you're supposed to discover stuff by searching it's quite disorientating and I would always get distracted I'd see one thing and then forget and lose track of other things I'm meant to see in this game things are quite clear because it's so barren all by design as well you can just kind of find stuff like there's, there's no you don't feel as though you're gonna get lost you don't feel as though you're gonna get stuck you can just kind of go over and come back maybe i will get lost and stuck later on but for now i'm doing good i saw i saw a worm got it one day i'll work out what these are for but for now i'll i'll just grab it there must be a good place to deliver these mysteries Okay, so do I want the floating thing? Or do I want that obvious entrance? Maybe, maybe the obvious entrance. Because I, I, think, I think that's what that is. Okay, can I go in? Alright, there's, there's an overhanging bit there. Oh, don't crash. This looks easy to climb. But it uses just as much stamina as everything else. Okay. I'm going in. I feel like a junker right now, so hopefully I will find some metal or something interesting. The Dumboin. A change in atmosphere is kind of an oppressive hum just came into my ears. Okay. Wait, can, can I climb? What's that? scrap metal that's what I wanted and oh this is like a, a battery where do I place it oh there's another one below as well so where where do I take this oh here we go here we go okay Oh, is that, is that constantly... That's constantly turning now. Alright. There's a battery there. There's a door there. I found some scrap metal, so that's good. Maybe the guy can give me some... I don't know. I don't know what his currency is. Maybe money. Okay, let's open this door. Which... Puts me back outside. Hang on. There was... There's another door here. And I'm sure that was locked before. Wow. Oh. Yes, like, it's very unnerving, actually. I'm assuming I'm the only one here. We've never met anything bad or scary. But there is a definite atmosphere here. But we're fearless. We're, we're on our gliding. We're adventuring around. We're good. So we've done the, the first stage of the area so this is a bit more okay we need a battery for there cool give me this can I run no I can only throw it and that will get me up there oh is it a moving platform
Okay, cool. Oh, no, 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 I'm not supposed to be here. Ah, wait. I gotta get across. Hop. Okay. Is that more scrap metal? Thank you. There's a button. Okay, uh, a platform just came across. That's good, right? So I'm guessing... Oh, more scrap metal. Oh, I'm, I'm raking it in now. Okay, so if I can run across here... Oh, there's a beetle down there. Wait. And there's scrap down there as well. Is there an easy way for me to get back up here? Yeah, there is. See how excited I got? <laughs> how excited I sounded when I saw things that I wanted to collect? That's, that's kind of what the game inspires in me. <laughs> okay, another egg as well. That's five of those things. It feels as though I'm doing well with that. Okay, so up here, I can grab the battery. That wasn't much of a detour actually, and I got lots more pickups for it. So I can go across this bridge, drop the battery off, and that gets me through another door. Okay. It'd be nice if I get an item that will then mean that if I meet somebody who wants an item, and I've already got it, that will save me a trip later on, because I'm doing it now. What is this? Okay, before I do anything else, is there anything hidden underneath the stairs? No. What is this? Hello? I encounter a strange luminous figure. It greets me before I even had the chance to be frightened. Saren. New user found. Hello, please enter your new username. I find myself whispering my own name. It suddenly feels odd in my mouth, like this is the first time I've said it aloud. Welcome, Sable. I set up a new account for you. I asked the mysterious figure about themselves. I am this ship's simulated anthropomorphic registry and informational nexus, but you can call me Sarin. Okay, what are you doing? I'm not entirely sure, Sable. Most of my database modules appear to be corrupted. I'm attempting to access ship records. Sarin goes still for a moment, transferring ship's log to your inbox. You have unread messages, Sable. Okay. Recording? The panel blinks to life. Strange markings and symbols I assume to be ancient texts spill across the screen as the background colours flash wildly. And then with a strange buzzing, like old fabrics putting apart, there are voices. Within long range sensors, Captain, we're picking up some anomalous readings from the upper atmosphere. Could be a plasma storm, but the radiation signature doesn't quite match. Okay, maintain approach at current speed. What's that, ETA? 46 Earth hours, give or take. Good, let's keep an eye on those energy signatures and get Saren in on it too, for pattern recognition. Captain, we need to purge our reactor soon, if we don't. I know, I'm aware of the risks, Ellis, but I'm not purging in the middle of the space. We follow the protocol and the recording fails, and the static continues. A few button pushes bring silence and a screen that looks navigable in some way, but I can't decipher anything. No unread messages. Okay. Historical reconnection. So, wait, what is that about? I should look for more of Sarin's terminals. Okay. That was really strange. Really odd. But, I guess it was good in a way. Is there a shortcut out of here? Or have I got to, I got to find my way out? I'm really disorientated. But yeah, there's some kind of background stuff, and people people are in space, which gives the impression that, well, we sort of suspected that this was like a post-apocalyptic world anyway, but just how far? Because this stuff, it's all still working, but at the same time looks very abandoned. And we are outside. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, actually, what's this? Hang on, before I do any big edits or cuts, what? There's all of these hoops. Is there, like, a race that I need to do? It seems like the kind of thing this game would do. It would have, like, a secret route for me to take. Okay, this looks like the first one. 
Is this just drive through? Should I go at speed? Do I have to do them at speed or just in order? Well, this is as fast as I can go, so... Okay, here's the next one. Three of those things. Here's the fourth one. Is, is Oh, something. Uh, I've done something. Okay, that, that floating thing is now something that we can check out. Okay, I, I had this big plan in my mind that I was going to go and do something else. However, it looks like we got something else that we can check out. Head back. Head back. Reveal the Hikarik Arch Monument. I just got an achievement. You probably heard it do the noise, but it doesn't actually appear on the screen. I don't know how it gets around OBS like that, but it's kind of cool. Okay. Check this out. Hidden thing. Anybody home? I guess not if they were buried. Okay, he hello. Oh. Got an artifact. Interesting. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm going to go for a ride. And I think that that will do for this episode. This is Usho signing off. And hopefully I will see you next time.